Ongoing upheaval in the Arab world, a typical clash between the old powers on the one hand and the young sons and daughters on the other. Today we read the classical play Antigone by Sophocles. The Arab world is, as we speak, shifting to all new directions. Searching its way to more freedom, graveling for more democracy, longing for a more promising future. One thing is for sure, the old powers are in serious jeopardy. And there are good reasons for the young to be angry at the old. The unemployment and food prices are sky high, incomes are low. Because of the oppressive atmosphere, the Arab world performs very badly in publishing books and making scientific innovations. Imagine a free country, a small free country like South Korea, outperforms the whole Arab world with an humiliating landslide. So they have to get rid of these rigid governments, the young say. This clash between old and young is a classical one. 2400 years ago, the Greek playwright Sophocles wrote the play Antigone. King Creon ruled also rigidly in this play. And because of this attitude, he came into serious conflict with his son and daughter-in-law, who felt he had to revise some of his decisions. His son, the young Hyman, tried to persuade his father to come to his senses. Father, listen to reason, to other opinions. But the stubborn King Creon couldn't be convinced of his misjudgments. I am the boss, and I decide what happens. Who are you, you young people, to dispute my orders? This dialogue between father and son is a classical example of the clash between old and new generations. And sadly, Crayon didn't give in, and his whole family died, leaving Crayon in despair. The last words of this tragedy are, to be sensible and to be pious are the first and last happiness. For their grand schemes or bold words, the proud pay with great wounds. This ancient play teaches an important lesson to the rulers of the Arab and Persian world. And it's also an early warning to the young sons and daughters, the possible successors of the old powers. Without openness, justice, tolerance, liberty for all, their fresh grand schemes and honest, bold words will be doomed as well. Do not be stubborn, it leads to great wounds. Important lessons from the antiquity for the old and the new powers. Antigone by Sophocles. I wish you many free thoughts.